Um, um, I need an adult. 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 Don't shoot the laser in the house. What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, oh. All right. Uh, I have steel dust in my inventory. What's the point? Because we were using those for the electric matic, electromagnetics. <laughs> oh fuck! Will you stop firing that laser? <laughs> um. Uh, why is nothing responding? What did you hit? I don't know what I hit. I I, I tried to open this door, but it wouldn't open. How, wait, Chris, how come that's not open on my screen? It's because you're probably glitched for doing what you did. About, um, uh, uh, can you see me? Yeah. Alright, good. I'm gonna go see what I can see. <laughs> Alright, now what did that laser do? You broke the middle column. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> oh, stupid stair ladders. Alright, get out of the way. Stop using that laser near here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't try to. I tried right clicking and I forgot lasers do that. You broke every part of them. The system's going to be powered down now. Most likely, so you won't be able to interact with any of the uh, storage. Uh, it, it, don't worry, we don't know what we're doing in the first place. Uh, I do. I was going to build uh, an AP area. I was going to build the electromagnetics. I was going to build some... Uh, uh, what happened to that? What else is it? What's an that? atomic assembler, probably, eventually. These doors... What about them? Huh. Weird. I gotta check my internet. Like rubber band and like bone. Probably because you just broke everything in the world. Everything seems fine on the server, so. Dang it, if you go fix those holes. I can't. I'm lagging. I don't care if you're lagging. You knew what you did. Isn't that the simplest fixed? Oh. <laughs> you didn't... Where was where was the hole at? I forget. It was like somewhere. Uh, 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 um, Chris? What the hell? I was outside and then I was surrounded by dirty. <laughs> What's going on? My uh, world. I'm like teleporting. It's fixed. it's fixed. Stop messing up the world. I can't. Lagging. Lag. Lag delicious. No, oh, well, it appears. Oh, well, it's gone. It appears I've already got some sort of a memory glitch myself, but oh well. And you're the one hosting the server. Well, that doesn't actually matter. The server is separate from me. It doesn't have memory issues. But I thought you. I thought your server is the computer. There, there's another application, Avon. Yeah, but it. Yes, but doesn't it take? Yeah, it uses another memory, yes, but it doesn't I mean, get some corrupted. piece of hardware is, you know, pinging us here. It, do, it you. doesn't have an issue at this haven. Look at this. I've been working with those <coughs> beams. Oh, yeah, I gotta be, uh... There we go. Oh, crap. We have those, ah, uh, <laughs> it's our iron we wheels, and I was like, ah, oh, snap, some CDs. <laughs> Not those types of CDs, uh, but uh, I, I forget what the way was to make more CDs to get all the discs. Um, there was a method, but I forget. Uh, Let's see here, I need a princess. Uh, my travel bag remote is inside my is inside the ME terminal, and I can't pull it out. Wait, there we go. Never mind. I'm Fuck off this game! 
You threw it on the ground, David. No, I didn't. It's on the ground over here. This is in my inventory. It's over here. And then I spawned back, and I'm not... Where am I? You're in the hallway. <laughs> Evan, like Evan so did, this you, is... did you do some new medication? So this is how Alzheimer's feels. No, literally, this game is really... I'm flashing here. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Well, the server has been running for a long time, but I wouldn't think that would mess with it. Huh. Who's... Okay, yeah, that's not... Okay. Although I think you might be lagging a bit. You're, um... You're in the yellow on Skype. Oh, snap. Oh, that's so messed up. So, it's obvious that you're broken on the inside of your head face area. I like how Speed Test thinks I'm in Wisconsin. <laughs> that's perfectly normal. Alright, good. That's cool. I got... What is this? What is this? What? What is this? Stop being lost, David. No, I... This isn't a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, this is gonna be lovely. Oh, yes, iridium. I need to make a solar panel so I can, uh, make the, uh, mining turtle solar powered. I want to put him outside so he can work with the mana battery box. Because, uh, moving it back and forth is kind of annoying, and he'll just go from one point to another. Make it very easy on me. Though I do worry about something I did remember. He, he, he would drop the item, so that would be an issue. But that can all be solved. I also wanted to change this, uh, synthesizer and purifier to work <laughs> automatically somewhat. Oh, yeah, we need to set up a gene room. I've got too many, uh, too many genes and nothing to do with it. Caterpie what? Caterpie's gone faint after that. After taking a shift, it's. <laughs> what is it? It's, uh. What are we doing with steel plates? We were making electromagnetics, remember? Steel. Well, we have 27 steel plates, so, uh. Why? Why do we need more? Yep. Um. Well, first of all, we need to be making electromagnetics first. Electromagnetic for it to use them. furnace? Separator? No. Oh, wait. Glass and. Oh. Literally, just an electromagnetic. Yeah. Well, then. Um, That's a lot of iron. Of course it is. And a motor. Then just make one, then. Why do you, why do you need me? Evan, you remember everything, don't you? Mm-mm. Not even the slightest. Even the compressed car... Oh, there it is. Ah, oh, yeah. Look at this. We need more steel dust. Throw more steel dust in there. I got 64. Oh, I could use some carbon. So I took my environmental science test today, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and there was, a, there was a question referring to a mass amount of... All right. A product of, uh, alright, the, the, the part, majority item that is consumed by all organisms in the ecosystem is known as mast crop. <clears throat> How do you think that's spelled? Mass crop? Yeah. I would think M-A-S-S-C-R-O-P. Yeah. Well, my, well, my teacher pronounces it the same way, right? So, Here's but the, here's I'm wondering if it might have been said as mast crop, exactly. which would be with a T. Exactly. And, uh, okay, then. You know, there was like two of them. Of course, the M-A-S-T, M-A-S-S-E-D crop. And I'm like, fuck, I don't know which one it is. And I was thinking to myself, what if it... <laughs> I'm trying to like, like rip apart <laughs> you're his You're just balance. like, what if it was a T and then you got it correct? So you're just like, there was no way that was going to work. <laughs> I mean, I, I I obviously got it wrong because you know never second guess never second guess yourself. I, I realize that now. Never second guess <laughs> guess yourself. You obviously you obviously gonna burn yourself over. It's like I, I uh, 
It was like, never, never second guess your answer. Never. Nah, it's <clears throat> not very good. Uh, it's always what gets you. I also had an instructor that said, all right, well, with your test, how do you think you did? Did you score higher than you thought you would have? Raise a hand. Some people raise a hand. And like, did you score exact, uh, uh, what is it? Below what you expected? Raise a hand. And then people raise a hand. Never touch the point for those who expected their grade, which I did. <laughs> it's like, I'm a B student. So <laughs> when I got a B, I wasn't surprised in the slightest. <laughs> but that was some bullshit that the teacher didn't say that. Because I really wanted to explain myself. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. I don't. I, I feel like I don't know how anyone's supposed to feel like. Oh, I did exactly <coughs> what I was expecting to do with the test. Because when you get into the test, it's a completely different scenario. So it's like you you couldn't know your grade necessarily unless you thought you were always correct. But even then, you you wouldn't necessarily get that grade. What do you mean? Um, <clears throat> like, you can think you're going to do well, and then, you know, it ends up being that you were completely wrong, but because you were thinking that you were going to, that you were doing well, you just, you, you felt okay with it. Yeah. It's like, oh, I got an A, and then you find out you got a C. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had that happen to you before? Uh... Once? I can't really remember. Maybe once, but I doubt it. I oh, know that happened to me once. It was atmospheric science. I suck at that shit. It's like, see atmosphere. I don't breathe it, so I don't know it. <clears throat> like the Twitter sphere joke. I didn't understand that <laughs> at first until one until one Sunday afternoon. One faithful day. <laughs> yeah, I was just. Thinking to myself, and then I was like, oh, so that's what they meant by sphere, you know. Like, it was all the atmosphere bullshit. Well, even if you thought of it as just normal atmosphere, it would have been reasonable. Well, no, because I thought it was, you know, yeah. The mesosphere. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know all of them, but I, I did remember it being layered, because I remember, like, you know that textbook image where it has a planet, and then, like, there's this little chunk being, like, ripped out of it, <coughs> mm -hmm. and lifted out, and then it's just got layers upon layers, just like, uh, how it, how it would if you looked at the Grand Canyon. Because that rock's layered from all of its wear and tear. Hmm. Um. Science. Science. Uh, what is it? I believe at the end of... No, no. Yeah, I, one day in October, freaking... I have a field trip with Lexus. Yes, I, I was able to get another person to go with me, and I was like... What is a field trip? Yeah, it's a field trip to Chicago to see some religious, uh... Religious, uh... What do they call it? Icons? Uh... Or, well... <laughs> temples and cathedrals and all that good stuff in Chicago. That sounds interesting. And like, uh, the one reason I took Alexis is because I'm like, this is going to be a five-page paper, and no, he doesn't tolerate a single sentence of less than five pages <laughs> of that bottom line. So it needs to be five full pages, so I'm thinking to myself, I better bring my English major girlfriend with me because then we could just talk about shit and we bam. <laughs> Five page paper, make that one page paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, dang it. Build a filter with some gold and some other jigs. I'm making that steel, but I don't think it's <clears throat> being used, Chris. Well, not right now. It, it, it most likely got packed up. It says it's trying to make eight, 118, but of course it's not. Oh. Wait, what? Where? I've changed it, though, so I'll just set it back to 64. There you go, I should start crafting now. <clears throat> if there's enough, of course. Although, we might have run out of some other resource that I don't know of. Oh, yeah, rubber. How are we, how are we looking go at Go ahead it? and throw a few of those into the uh, smelter and, and back. 
Uh, what? It's rubber, right? Yeah. So throw a few of them into the uh, the smelting factory. They'll go oh, into yeah, the system automatically. The, the saplings. What saplings? The rubber sapling. Oh, we're completely out of rubber. I didn't realize it was that rubber. Yeah, that's what I was... Okay. <laughs> oh, no, you, you still got a few. Um, but right, we well, need to take the saplings. Yeah. The sap... The sap... The sap... The sap... How do you... What's plural for sap? <laughs> Alexis, what's plural for sap? What? Sap. Sap? Yes, yeah, sap. How do you... I would... Sap. Sap is just sap. Yeah. Hmm. Gotta take them saps. <laughs> Gotta take them saps. <laughs> Gotta just think that it's plural there. <sighs> you and all your grammatical grandma gra g gr stuff. I'm not a grammatical, I'm just a wordsmith. Just a minisnit. <laughs> so you're the wordsmith? No. <laughs> <laughs> then you just hear my voice. <laughs> Hello, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, oh, yes, Anderson. It's obvious that it's time. Um, I don't. That hardy drone, Dran. Well, look at that. Gotta turn them into resilience. Who would have thunk? <clears throat> Alright, uh, uh, I should be touching this thing right here, the excellent metallurgy infuser. Hmm. Oh, is it excellent? Is it? Okay, it needs to make steel. I'm making that. Should be getting nearer, nearer and nearer to what we need. Needs copper dust. God. I'm questioning why this has moved over one exactly here. Um, one, two, three, what do you, four, one, five, six, eight, seven, eight, nine, ten, dust. eleven, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, two, two, three, two, four, two, five, two, six, two, seven, two, eight, two, nine, thirty. 31. Huh. This is supposed to be 32, but that's okay. 31 works fine. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I like how I made all this compressed carbon and only need like a stack. Nature, why 30, you so? 31, 32. So this one goes to 32. Okay, yeah. alright. Eh, screw it, I can go ahead and push it back one. God dang it, bastard! I mean, I'm already building it, might <coughs> as well. Oh, actually, that was probably fine. Okay, still needs dust. It's fine. Just throw it, just throw it down. I don't know, man, there. Uh, there we go. What have you done? No. Uh, let's see. I'm just making some enraged iron. Enraged iron. And then I'm taking that enriched iron and I'm shoving it right into this very, very flamboyant thing to make steel dust. Which this steel dust is then tossed right into this smelter to make ingots. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, smelter? No, it's not going you to just had, You just have to put... Oh, wait, what? 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 Uh, you just have to put the dust into the machine, into the, uh, system. Yeah, I know that. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> no, no, no. Because it no. won't smelt. You'll just sit there and be like, well, it was not working. <coughs> the hell? 
What's an electronic hoe? <laughs> no, I mean, um, I mean, I like just uses power. T trap, wrench. What would I need an electronic wrench? Um, <coughs> see, the thing is, I think we could take, uh, let me, what is it? <coughs> Beige. Let's see here. I believe that. Actually, it might not use those tools. I think a Vajra oh, actually uh, uses a screwdriver, a hoe, and. Or, well, it has the capability of being all those tools. I believe. No, wait. It's not this. It's not this. This is the mining tool that can break anything instantly. Um, what was the tool? Is it multi? That, no. uh, iron! Wrench. I think it was called. There it is. The Gravit Tool. Yeah, the Gravit Tool uses an electric hoe, an electric wrench, and an electric tree tap, oh, and it yeah. gives you a tool that can do all <coughs> three of those. The Gravity Tool. Yes. It's well, way beyond our abilities, so. <coughs> How's it way beyond our abilities? I believe it uses a. Uh... <coughs> Actually, no, it doesn't use iridium. I thought it did. But is Most high-level things these days use iridium. But is it worth it? Eh, not particularly. Okay. Um, okay. It, it, it's fine, but it's not necessarily worth it. It's not as awesome as a chick axe. Nothing's as awesome as a chick axe, Avon. Don't lie to yourself. <laughs> that, but that's what that, that that's what I said. <laughs> Exactly. Oh. But you can never have you never have to question it, Avon. I'm questioning it all. What is the alumina? <laughs> I think about a stack or two more steel dust ought to do it. And then we should be able to finish the particle accelerator. And do science. Science stuff like Oh like, science, fuck like, yeah. Breaking like particle autographs and stuff. Science. Uh -uh. Signs, just a bunch of aliens. Oh, speaking of speaking of movies, you know what yeah. I watched today? You know, right before I went to my uh, exam, I had the joys of watching that one oh. movie that I, I just despise so fucking much. Uh, I bash it every time. I, uh, I bash it so much, you're like, even it ain't that bad. Oh, happening. <laughs> 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 yes, that movie is so <laughs> fucking bad. I watched through it, and I can understand why. I, I can understand why you could, you know, you, you don't, you don't. You it's don't. not terrible. It's not the worst thing that's ever existed. <laughs> but it's, I understand what you're talking about about the story being all, you know, not that great, and then then the characters not being that great, and the, the, all this the stuff. The character it development, sense. the conflict. I do like the idea. I just quit. I feel like the book was better. <laughs> I'm sure the book was better, because the book, you can imagine whatever you want for it. That's the thing about books. Uh, That's why they're supposedly better than, you know, TV and stuff, because you can make your own story. Of course, you can't actually watch your own story so easily, so... Yeah, true. <laughs> but That's one of the reasons why I like, TV exists. I like the construction job. He's just like, <laughs> for the first guy, Lance, he's like, oh, Joey. Jesus Christ. And he's all like, I mean, I gotta give credit to the act. He did well. <laughs> and then the like next guy he turns around like all sad face still. He was like, No, not the dog <laughs> <laughs> It's like Joey's dead over here, what are you talking about? Screw the dog <laughs> <coughs> No, that was actually a human being. I just was emphasizing how I felt <laughs> And then it was just like hell raining around him and he's just like <sighs> like traumatized, and he looks up, and it's just like <laughs> just, I couldn't stop laughing. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at these fools die! <laughs> uh, or all right, so I have to understand this. Just exactly what was the one contributing variable that made people? commit suicide what made them do it mm -hmm. um i think it was a kind of a uh, it was kind of an idea that was better than poisoning them i believe because the thing is uh what they were doing was as they said in the movie was mm -hmm. uh was going over a, a similar thing that happens underwater 
in which a specific reef uh, becomes poisonous and kills all the fish. Oh, yeah. Like bleaching. Yeah. Um, except it happens every once in a while or whatnot, and it just it makes the water red, I believe it was. Mm-hmm. Um, let me see your electromagnet. Uh, <clears throat> so they, they were kind of going over that idea, that concept, without, uh, without going specifically to poison. Because, you know, if it was poison, it would be kind of less entertaining. It was kind of an idea of, like, what if it wasn't poison, but rather a substance that made people... Because uh, I think they explained it in the movie, too, is that it, it made it so that you kind of disallocated um, the idea of suicide being bad mm-hmm. or dangerous. You, you lost the self-preservation motive that you would normally have to protect you from everyday things. Because when you go on an everyday task, you you always have this internal buffer saying, hey, this is dangerous, don't do this. But theirs got disabled. Um, but then not only that, they were kind of being pushed towards doing it. So, it was pretty interesting. And it was an idea towards the plants killing them, which is also another statement on uh, on how we affect the... Environment. The, yeah, the environment, how one day it might turn on us as a defensive mechanism because the environments <laughs> of the water have the same defensives. <coughs> Uh, like the idea behind the movie was definitely a good one, I pr- uh, which is probably why you know it was a good story too. Yeah, I, I agree. But let me just uh, first keep on the discussion. Like, I felt as though what was I mean? What effect? What effect? What affected? What what variable? Okay, I have my ideas right now. What variable is the contributing variable? Okay would make an individual prone to being affected by that pathogen. Is it um, pathogen? Yeah, I think I'm using it. It would probably be pathogen. Uh, are you saying, like, what what caused the plants to be able to affect humans? Like, well, yeah, because wasn't it being in, like, a group of people? And it's like, what, when, when is a group of people not too large, and when is it different? Um, it was dependent on a few things. The thing is that, uh, when we get to plants and stuff, they can actually get to being large organisms, right? Yeah. As, as there is a tree that's actually a few good thousand years old, and like a fucking... it's literally one tree that's spanned across an entire nation or so because it's interconnected underneath. Like mahogany. It's, it's an interesting tree. Um, yeah. And so <coughs> this tree would be capable of, you know, feeling this surface, basically, and communicating with uh, the rest of it as to what's going on above it. Mm-hmm. Um, and what is, uh, when, when people, of course, come in contact with it, the small impression would be felt, and it wouldn't really consider it as much. It's like a fly landing on it. However, if an entire group of ants is there, it's going to detect each one of them, see that there's a large group, and probably, you know, react. Mm -hmm. It's the same with bleaching, too, because I think the reefs only, uh, started panicking and doing such a thing, uh, when they were affected by certain forces, because the the animals and stuff that lived there didn't have a problem for a while. Sure. Uh, what is it? Uh, brain, help me! Uh, My brain's feeling pretty short-lived today, too. I don't know why. I mean, alright. I was considering us, we're going to talk about... Uh, I found this interesting paradox we got to talk about at one point. Uh, speaking of trees, mm-hmm. all right, like the tree in our backyard, you know, no, you know, father-in-law, right? The tree's dying. And I'm thinking to myself, why? And I thought, I, you know, it's pretty apparent that, you know, it's a chain around the tree, you know, killing it. But I wasn't really too entirely sure how that affected the tree until, you know, later learning about just exactly how trees... Uh, we probably have enough steel now, too. Okay. How oh, trees pull up water through the ground. Mm-hmm. And apparently, this practice inside the uh, rainforest, you know, you know, third world country, they're like, we have all this rainforest. What the bloody hell do we do? So then, you know, you're like, okay, we sell it. Well, to who? Well, freaking Google and a- Apple doesn't want to buy all of it, so we'll just sell what we can to, you know, civilians. And some of these civilians, you know, they buy it. And they're like, okay, well, I'm gonna raise, I'm gonna raise cattle here. And it's like, okay, but there's too many trees. What do you do? You slash and burn. 
So what mm-hmm. do they what uh, they do is they go up, they go up, and they like slash just the around the, the they just slash the bark around the base of the tree, mm-hmm. which prevents any water from being pulled up from the roots to actually travel to the top of the tree. So then it dries out, it dies, and they just burn it. And we move, uh, it's kind of interesting in that uh, you would think that the tree would be more protected than that. Yeah, you would you think know? that there would be some internal system back up. Yeah, but it's just like if the bark is completely removed, or like just, just a small ring is enough to take down a creature that's been around for like hundreds of years. I mean, it needs to be at least a good six inches, but yeah, that's a... That's fairly small, yeah. But that's that's enough to just bone the organism over and it's just... <laughs> what the hell? Uh, and keep in mind that, like, the soil... The soil in r- tropical rainforests isn't that rich because the canopy is so thick that... It's just w- consuming all the nutrients. Yeah. And then... Yeah. and Oh, and killing it from sunlight loss. Yeah, and whatever falls off, it picks right back up. Through, mm-hmm. through through its own roots, so it's just like a never-ending cycle. So when those trees are gone and all that, you have this really poor, poor soil. Freaking mm-hmm. farmers use it. You know, after it's done, all the nu- nutrients is gone, what do they do? They slash and burn the next section of the forest. That's how they get, you know, the next four years of crops there. And then, yeah. well, what do you do with the last one? Well, fuck the last one. We're going out to do this one. Uh Yes. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun to see how things work like that. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. It's like, you, you wouldn't think that nature would rely on fires and stuff, too, to to keep it going. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, I mean, it's not like the Earth's on fire most of the time. Oh, uh, that, like, uh, forest fires are actually natural and should not be prevented 100%. Yeah, yeah, because apparently we're dumb enough to keep building in such areas, like landslides, etc. Well, that's just the way people are. If there's water nearby, uh, the, the the world's pretty good at keeping us away from areas that doesn't have water, <laughs> though. So uh, the desert's still pretty unclaimed. Well, pretty unclaimed. There's still places, surprisingly. Yeah, like Egypt, which is well, fairly well, close to a desert. It's not pure desert there, but. Isn't Las Vegas built on a desert? Yes, it is. Like Chicago. It lives off of uh, uh, fake water, basically. It <laughs> popped in from California. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. Where is Las Vegas? Uh, It's literally right next to California. It's the reason why California is in a weird L shape. Oh. Wait, what? Really? Yeah. Because, well, it's, no, it wasn't necessarily the cause, but you, you can remember Nevada because... uh. The, the shape of the state is actually like a, a line down, mm-hmm. then a diagonal to the right down, and then it just points straight back up. So it goes straight up and then straight left. It's just like this weird triangular shape. This is like the state. It's like it's the, the top only one half like of too. the end. Like, Idaho is really <coughs> organic designed in its shape, mm-hmm. and it's still somewhat triangular, but Nevada is just pure triangle, it seems. <laughs> Um, and it's one of the reasons why California looks the way it does, because it has that giant gash out of it in that weird shape mm-hmm. in the end. <coughs> At least that's how I always remember it. Well, that, that helps. That, and now I know I learned something new. Nevada's right next to California. For some odd reason, I presume that it was probably down there a little bit. Yeah. You know, you'd be surprised, too. There's a lot of people who wouldn't understand, like, the design of America. Like, they they couldn't name states even if you tried. Even if you pointed out Texas. <laughs> yeah. They, there are people out there who just have no clue. So, I mean, the fact that you didn't know is actually surprising to me, because I would figure that was common knowledge. Well, I knew the shape of Nevada. I just presumed that there was another state between Nevada and California. Huh? No. I mean... Now keep in mind, I'm not keeping I'm not keeping too much tabs on the left, you know, east, wait, western part of the country too often. Well, I'm pretty sure it does, and I mean, I haven't looked at it, but I'm I'm fairly sure. Yeah, I'm pre- now that because I do know California's got that weird kind of divot in it as well, so it's just like it must be there. That or they really built an odd state. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. Particle accelerator's done. Um. Wait, yeah, I just need um, to pump power into it and stuff like that. Wait a minute. 
<laughs> what state are we talking about? Uh, Nevada? Oh, uh, Nevada. For some odd reason, I was thinking Nebraska. <laughs> no, Nebraska is like up north in the center. I okay. think it's underneath Missouri. No, it's no, not Missouri, is it? It's right. It's underneath South Dakota and right beside Idaho. I mean, no, Iowa, <laughs> Iowa, Iowa. Yeah, it's Illinois, Iowa, Nebraska, huh? Nebraska. Oh yeah, it's the left. Ones, yeah. Apparently, one of the Dakotas has nothing but grasslands, so it's apparently from. A few people who lived in grasslands okay, areas, so it just absolutely sucks because you're really spread apart from people and things like that. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, that would kind of suck, but at the same time, I would love that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be awesome, just be in the grassland, but it would suck if, you know, push comes to shove, you yeah. know, emergency arise. Or, yeah, I mean, I thought of, I thought of the idea of uh, being in places like uh, Colorado and stuff, mm-hmm. which are in the middle it's in it it's in a fairly desertous area but not quite i mean i don't mm-hmm. know what colorado's like but i think it's similar to a kind of clayish land more than it is grassy yeah but it's not a desert so well, i'm just going to live where it's not that i know i'm just going to just live wherever fucking the air force sends me real question is would you come back to illinois if you left I don't know why I would leave. Well, uh, on some, uh, you know, employment. Speaking of which, you know, you, you say employment take you takes you away for a little while. You know, say like six months in uh, some other better part of the world. I, don't know, I will tell you one thing. Would you really consider moving back to Illinois? Probably. Illinois. I'll tell you one reason why. Illinois and, itself, not the, not not Rockford. I don't really have a problem with either one. Oh, really? Hmm. No. Nah. Well then. I mean, I would move back to Illinois because I. I mean, do... I wish they were a bit better with their things. Like the roads could be better, and I, they're all, <laughs> they're working on it right now. But uh, other than that, really, I don't mind. I mean, uh. The thing is, I like being away from people. I don't really like high-level people areas, because it, it makes me tense and sort of Yeah, way. but you saying you wouldn't move... <clears throat> you say you wouldn't mind moving back to Illinois, which is kind of like... I can understand South Illinois, you have a little bit more privacy, but... Well, I mean, I live in... I, we, we live here, and this place is, is perfectly fine for me. I don't mind this area too much. I, I feel like it's slightly more dense than I could want it to be, but it's not too bad. It's yeah. like that level oh, just... Yeah, okay. 